I think so. So just like keep in mind on this one, it should yeah. be kind of top of the podium. Yeah. And this one, okay.
Yeah, just if you want to go wide and catch the whole banana. Yeah. And over a bit to your left. Take that next bit.
Go ahead. <laughs> Swadra, you I, want I, me I, to do it <laughs> backwards. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do that more than once. The procession has arrived. Please rise as you are able.
Chancellor Charles Weaselhead. I declare this convocation to be assembled. Oki, and welcome to the University of Lethbridge. Our university's Blackfoot name is Aniskim, meaning sacred buffalo stone. The University of Lethbridge acknowledges and deeply appreciates the Siksikai to Satapi people's connection to their traditional territory. We, as people living and benefiting from Blackfoot Confederacy traditional territory, honor the traditions of people who have cared for this land since time immemorial. We recognize the diverse population of Indigenous peoples who attend the University of Lethbridge and the contributions these Indigenous peoples have made in shaping and strengthening the university community in the past, present, and future. Please remain standing for the national anthem and the reflection. I invite Tanner LaPointe to lead us in O Canada. Tanner LaPointe has recently completed his fourth year of voice studies at the University of Lethbridge under the direction of both Dr. Blaine Hensby and Dr. Sandra Stringer and will be graduating in the fall of 2022. He has been featured as a soloist locally and provincially and has performed numerous roles with the UofL Opera Workshop. I invite Shannon Marie Healy to lead the reflection. Shannon completed her Bachelor of Science in 2020, including an honors thesis in cell biology. She is currently a graduate student at the University of Lethbridge. Graduates, you will find the reflection printed on the back of your program. Fellow graduates, please join me in reading the reflection. Let us begin this celebration of our academic achievements, the culmination of years of hard work by considering how we have achieved success and how we shall build on it in the future. Let us acknowledge those who built this community of scholarship, which has broadened our understanding and our horizons. Let us thank our faculty, staff, family, friends, fellow students, and all that have made this community of learning possible. They have taught us so much. Let us remember that our educational journeys, which led to our degrees, diplomas, and certificates, are valuable in themselves, not just means to other ends. 
let us use all we have learned to challenge the world through the eyes of educated citizens and make it a better place for others who follow. Let our motto, Fiat Lux, let there be light, remind us of the responsibility we accept to ensure that we will make a difference and build a better society. Thank you. Please be seated. I invite President and Vice, Vice Chancellor Mike Mann to deliver the report to convocation. Eminent Chancellor, honored guests, graduates, and proud family members and friends, welcome to Convocation at the University of Lethbridge. And welcome to all of our guests who are joining us from around the world on streaming video. To begin, I wish to recognize that our university rests on traditional Blackfoot territory, Oki Niksu Kuwaba. A Blackfoot welcome to you and our friends and relatives from an in all Indigenous communities. I want to begin by extending my most sincere congratulations to you, our graduates, today. Congratulations. I am really excited to celebrate your achievements in person today. The last few years have been a very difficult period in which we've experience unprecedented changes to our institution, our community, and the world around us. I know you all felt the burden of these challenges as you completed your degree in the early months of the pandemic. I know you felt the burden significantly, but you excelled at the same time. Carmen Letourneau, a Master of Music student convocating tomorrow, describes her experience conducting the university singers through hybrid rehearsals in the spring of 2020. She's candid about the difficulties she faced managing online coursework from home and also at the same time competing for quiet space and computer time with her husband and her children who were also suddenly working and studying from home. These experiences are familiar to many of us and I'm sure each of us have some wonderful stories about our experiences on Zoom, Teams, etc. I myself was always challenged about unmuting myself. I'm sure some of you had similar experiences. So while every graduating class deserves recognition for its accomplishment, the perseverance of those who are here today who demonstrated this perseverance by graduating from university at one of the most challenging times in recent history add special meaning and significance to this ceremony. Although I know we celebrated virtually when your degrees were conferred in 2020, it's wonderful to welcome you back to campus to the University of Lethbridge to take part in our academic tradition. You have brought our community together again, and I am honored to be here with you. Your return to campus marks this significant milestone with friends, family, and loved ones reflects the spirit of hope and resilience that helped all of us get through the last few years. I can say with great pride that as the graduating class of 2020, you have proven yourselves to be engaged thinkers, critical problem solvers, and greatly impassioned leaders. You have shown the courage to celebrate diversity, creativity, and equality, characteristics reinforced daily as exceedingly important to co our collective well-being. I'm proud to say these values are in fact reflected in this year's convocation ceremonies. We have a record number of self-declared Indigenous graduates this spring. Their success reinforces our commitment to ensuring access and supports for Indigenous students on our campuses. We will also recognize our first inclusive education graduates on Thursday afternoon. Cassandra Gilbert and Maggie McKay are the first students to receive a certificate of achievement through the U. Lethbridge Inclusive Education Initiative. 
Offered in partnership with Inclusion Alberta, the program supports adults with developmental disabilities in their pursuit of higher education. I want to extend my most sincere congratulations to both Cassandra and Maggie on their accomplishments and recognize the contributions they've made to our university community during their time here. And I'd like to thank each of you for all you contributed to our community during your time here. Your enthusiasm for learning, your understanding and compassion, your big ideas have inspired many of us and remain a source of encouragement. We are thrilled to have fine arts graduate Jared Gorfee here to celebrate today. When Jared was an undergraduate at U Lethbridge, his primary focus in new media was in 3D modeling with the hopes of being able to apply his skills in the creation of video games. Jared is now an animator with many of his university colleagues at Game Mode One, a Calgary operated independent game studio. Congratulations to Jared. Like Jared, some of you have embarked on your first stages of a professional career. Others may have decided to continue your education through graduate work or professional training. Whatever path you have chosen and wherever your next steps are, I hope all of you are sharing the benefits of your knowledge, discoveries, and your ideas, because that is our university's greatest purpose. Graduates like you have the knowledge and skills needed in communities across Canada and around the world. You graduated into a world of change and uncertainty, one with many complex challenges and few easy answers. And you have an important role to play in shaping our collective future. Knowing many of you, I have no doubt you'll take the next steps with the same grace and determination you shared with us during your time here. Darren Van Eesen is a great example of that. He participated in the Biological Sciences Research Internship concentration, as well as other independent studies during his time at U Lethbridge. He has now completed the first two years of preclinical courses and is currently in his last year spent rotating through clinical placements with various medical specialties. When he graduates from medical school in 2023, Darren will move on to complete his res residency and hopes to positively impact the lives of patients in the future. In 2020, all of you joined an alumni community that spans industries and sectors and includes more than 48,000 alumni making significant contributions in communities around the world. Cheryl Andres, here to recognize as the 2020 Distinguished Alumni of the Year, is an excellent example. In a career spanning more than three decades, she has established herself as a visionary and leader in healthcare sector whose efforts have made a substantial impact on the lives of many. We're also honored to have here today Julian Spearchief Morris, our 2020 Young Alumna of the Year, here with us to present his ad address to the graduates. Born and raised here in Lethbridge, he pursued a career in law with the hope of being able to work on the behalf of his community and others like it, and to make them stronger, more sustainable and inclusive. Today, he is doing just that, using his education to strengthen and support others by advocating for important change around the globe. Each of you can, make, can ask questions and seek answers, follow your interests, curiosities, and your motivations. I look forward to hearing about your successes. We want to celebrate and recognize your accomplishments too. You are our strongest allies and our best ambassadors and your contributions to communities near and far highlight the real and powerful change our university is enabling. Graduates, congratulations. We are so excited to have you back on campus. It's taken a while, but welcome back and enjoy the day. At this time, I would like to recognize the distinguished members of the Chancellor's Party. Please reserve your applause. Mr. Kurt Schlochter, Chair of the Board of Governors. Mr. Bill Spensley, Senate Member and 2018 Alumnus of the Year.
and Dr. Craig Coburn, member of the Board of Governors. I now invite Vice President of the Alumni Association, Nick Gabin, to come forward. It is my honor to introduce to you Julian Spearchief Morris. Julian Spearchief Morris became a lawyer to help communi communities be stronger, more sustainable, and more inclusive. He's been involved in all aspects of litigation on matters ranging from corporate finance to human rights law, as well as providing strategic advice on government relations and policy issues. While attending U Lethbridge, Spear Chief Morris was a standout on the Pronghorns men's basketball team, as well as an accomplished academic. His strong work ethic continued to shine when he was accepted to Harvard Law School, where he became the first ever Indigenous president of the Legal Aid Bureau and pushed the organization to see itself as an engine for social change in the greater Boston area. For Spear Chief Morris, it's important he uses his voice and platform to help others work towards a brighter future. And he is recognized as the 2020 Young Alumnus of the Year. Okay, good morning. It is such an honor to have the opportunity to give a few remarks the historic graduating class of 2020. I don't think I have to explain just how extraordinary your graduating class is. The fact that we're here celebrating your achievements two years after you wrapped up your coursework is an obvious indication that this class graduated under extraordinary circumstances. You've all persevered through significant uncertainty, unprecedented economic conditions, and a complete upheaval in the workplace, just to name a few things to be able to celebrate this achievement today. And for that, you should be extremely proud. It's been a long two years, though. My guess is that by now, you've all already started to forget a few things that you learned in the classroom here. I know I have. But with that said, I look back on my time at ULEF as one of the most formative periods in my life, in large part because of all the life lessons I picked up outside the classroom here. In more ways than one, I grew up here. And in the last few years in particular, a couple of these lessons have been especially important to me. So I'd like to briefly share them with you this morning in the hopes that they might be of some use to you as you continue to make your way in the world. First, at ULEF, I learned how to invest in relationships. If the COVID-19 pandemic has taught me anything, it's how much we all depend on the people around us for our well-being and success. The most valuable resource that you all will walk away from this institution with is the relationships with the people that you met here. Your classmates, professors, friends, teammates, and everybody else that you met here are your network. You'll be turning to these people for advice, references, and support long into the future. So be intentional about, intentional about maintaining these relationships because the investment you make in these people will pay you back time and time again. Second, I don't think I'm alone in saying that the last two years didn't exactly turn out as I had planned. But during my time at ULEF, I also learned how to deal with disappointment. Like all of you, I dealt with my own setbacks here, both inside and outside the classroom. And unsurprisingly, though I've had some wins, I've had to deal with my fair share of setbacks since. Since my graduation day, I've both been rejected for a position as a receptionist at my local gym here in Lethbridge <laughs> and accepted into Harvard Law School. I've worked on behalf of some of the biggest companies in the world, but I've also had someone call to tell me on my birthday that I've been denied a job. But at ULEF, I learned how to pick myself up and dust myself off, something that I know each one of you in this class has had to do as well. And in my case, the successes that I've been fortunate enough to have in my young career were made so much sweeter because of the disappointments that I persevered through. The determination and resolve that you all have already demonstrated just to get to this point is going to serve you so well in the future. I hope you all draw from that experience in the future if and when you have obstacles to overcome. Finally, the last lesson I'd like to share with you all, I didn't really learn here.
but it is a lesson that was especially meaningful for me in the last two years, so I'd like to share it with you all as well. And that is that some things are more important than your career. Some things are just more important than your career. I'd imagine that many of you might have learned this lesson recently as well. Don't take your loved ones, your health, or your happiness for granted. Be thoughtful about how you choose to live your life, and never forget to make time for yourself and the other things in your life that really matter. With that, I'd like to congratulate all of you once again on this tremendous achievement. I wish you all happiness and success. Thank you. I would like to introduce the University of Lethbridge Wind Orchestra, led by Brandon DeGorder, who will now perform the musical selection. I ask that you remain seated while they perform Xylophone Concertino Movement Number no. 3 by Toshiro Mayazumi. This will be performed by Leighton Bear 2021-22 UofL Wind Orchestra Concerto Competition winner. We are about to begin the platform process 
during which each degree holder will be presented to convocation. Before this process begins, I would like to remind everyone about photographs. A professional photograph sponsored by the University of Lethbridge Alumni Association will be taken of each graduate with the Chancellor here on the platform. Instructions for ordering this photo can be found inside the back cover of your convocation program. We hope this allows everyone to sit back and enjoy this momentous occasion. For those who wish to take pictures, you are encouraged to do so from your seat so you do not miss the presentation of your graduate. There are also areas on the track that you may access at the appropriate time. I also want to direct your attention to the south side of our platform. The Graduate Students Association President, Lauren Zink, and the Students Union President, Care V. Bat, will extend congratulations on behalf of the student body. The Vice President of the Alumni Association, Nick Gavin, will present graduates with an alumni pin, symbolizing their membership in the University of Lethbridge Alumni Association. Provost and Vice President Academic Erasmus O'Kine. Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the degree holders. In accordance with the uh, statutes of the province of Alberta, I have conferred upon all successful candidates the degrees to which they are entitled with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Dean Jackie Rice. Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the candidates approved by the School of Graduate Studies. The following graduate was awarded the degree Master of Science, Adam Christensen. The following graduate was awarded the degree Master of Arts, Casey Namdu. graduates were awarded the degree Master of Education. Runa Bjarnason Wilson. Andrew Doyle. Shoba George. Caitlin Strand. <laughs> and the final graduate in this category is August Wensman.
Dean Matthew Letts. Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the candidates approved by the Faculty of Arts and Science. The following graduates were awarded the degree Bachelor of Science. Adjoyan Adiemo. Nicole Atkinson with distinction. <laughs> Dylan Brassard. <laughs> Charles Clark. Vincent Cote with great distinction. <laughs> Devin De Groot. <laughs> Easton De Young. Dizik. Kaden Fujita with great distinction. Miranda Ganger Powell with great distinction. Kidane Halle. <laughs> Janine Hassink. <laughs> Shannon Healy with great distinction. Nisali Kamburu Gamwa with distinction. <laughs> Jordan Copels. <laughs> Kennedy McCloy. Tia Luwashe Olatona. <laughs> Braden Pozaluzny with distinction. Daniel Rocca with great distinction. <laughs> Eric Rodbang. <laughs> Austin Steed.
James Stepler. Matthew Vandervoort with distinction. Emily Wendelbo with distinction. And the final graduate in this category is Kira Witten. The following graduates were awarded the degree Bachelor of Arts. Chloe Frazier. Henry Gordon with distinction. Amethyst Greer Stewart. Caitlin Hounsom. Ryan Lindblad. <laughs> Presley Maxwell. <laughs> Kira Nikolakopoulos with great distinction. Johnny Renteria. <laughs> Dakota Rose. <laughs> Kiana Ross Elgie. Emma Shaber. Gregory Smith. Ryan Tomchuk. Madeline Vandenberg with distinction. Sean Vickery. Carmen Viel. Renee Yeboa. And the final graduate in this category is Amanda Young. Dean Chris Hosgood. 
Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the candidates approved by the Faculty of Health Sciences. The following graduates were awarded the degree Bachelor of Nursing. Brenna Kielik. <laughs> Omatoyosi Ogadendi. Jordan Prodzik. <laughs> Rebecca Ross, with distinction. <laughs> Julianne Sanders, with distinction. And the final graduate in this category is Samantha Savage. <laughs> Dean Robin Bright. Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the candidates approved by the Faculty of Education. The following graduates were awarded the degree Bachelor of Education. Jennifer Ralph. Bethany Schneeberger with great distinction. And the final graduate in this category is Rob West. Provost and Vice President Academic Erasmus O'Kine. The candidates who now be presented are graduates of the combined degrees programs in education. The five year combined programs provide students with the opportunity to meet the requirements for two degrees offered by two different faculties. Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the candidates for the combined degree programs in management. I invite the deans of the faculties appropriate to each degree to rise and congratulate the graduates. The following graduates were awarded the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Education. Dallas David. Cheryl Lynn Emonts, Bachelor of Education with great distinction. Kendra Nadeau, BA with, great dis with distinction, Bachelor of Education with great distinction. Amanda Omelon, Bachelor of Arts with great distinction, Bachelor of Education with distinction.
Brigitte Paquette Smith, Bachelor of Arts with great distinction, Bachelor of Education with great distinction. And the final graduate in this category is Aaron Yaram CEO, Bachelor of Arts with great distinction, Bachelor of Education with great distinction. graduates were awarded the degrees Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Education. Jessica Lohues, Bachelor of Science with great distinction, Bachelor of Education with great distinction. graduate in this category is Jose Vallacios. The following graduate was awarded the degree, the degrees Bachelor of Fine Arts, Dramatic Arts, and Bachelor of Education. Erica Koch. Bachelor of Fine Arts with Distinction, Bachelor of Education with Distinction. The following graduate was awarded the degrees Bachelor of Management and Bachelor of Education. Deanna Frawlin, Bachelor of Management with great distinction, Bachelor of Education with great distinction. <laughs> Vice Provost Michelle Helstein. Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the candidates approved by the Faculty of Fine Arts. The following graduate was awarded the degrees Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art. Jessica Lynn Colley. graduates were awarded the degree Bachelor of Fine Arts, New Media. Jared Gorfi with great distinction. <laughs> and the final graduate in this category is Austin Nib. graduates were awarded the degree Bachelor of Music. Michael Ayotte with great distinction. Parker Nib. Taylor Murphy. Ian Mustard with great distinction. Carter Potts 
with great distinction. Ashley Schneeberger. Kirian Turner with great distinction. And the final graduate in this category is Rianne Vandenbrink with great distinction. Dean Carey Godfrey. Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the candidates approved by the Dillon School of Business. The following graduates were awarded the degree Bachelor of Management. Asma Abatalabian. Nissa Ali. Cheryl Desone. Marion Eltono. Shen Feng. <laughs> Vanica Fernandez with great distinction. <laughs> Brett Galloway Johnson. Camille Katigbeck. <laughs> Robert Kivit. <laughs> Ronalda Kirkness. Lee. Michael Phipps. Jenny Rowell. Zachary Rowley. <laughs> da Young Sok with distinction. <laughs> and the final graduate in this category is Ruth Taiwo. Dean Chris Hosgood. Thank you. 
Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the candidates approved by the Faculty of Health Sciences. The following graduates were awarded the degree Bachelor of Health Sciences. Jelani Erickson. <laughs> Athar Mahmood. And the final graduate in this category is Tegan Robin with great distinction. The following graduate was awarded the degree Bachelor of Therapeutic Recreation. Amanda Irvin. Provost and Vice President Academic Erasmus O'Kine. The candidates who will now be presented are graduates of the combined degree programs in management. The five-year combined programs provide students with the opportunity to meet the requirements of two degrees offered by two different faculties. Eminent Chancellor, it is my privilege to present the candidates for the combined degrees programs in management. I invite the deans of the faculties appropriate to each degree to rise and congratulate the graduates. The following graduates were awarded the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Management. Emily Chong. And the final graduate in this category is Jessica Jones. graduate was awarded the degrees Bachelor of Health Sciences and Bachelor of Management. Danielle Kennard. I invite Bachelor of Nursing alumna Cheryl Andre and Vice President of the Alumni Association Nick Gavin to come forward. Just one moment. I was on the other side of the stage. It's quite the distance to travel. <laughs> All right. The Alum of the Year Award is a prestigious honor that was established by the Alumni Association in 1989. This award recognizes the outstanding accomplishments of a U of L graduate who has earned prominence nationally and internationally for their exceptional professional achievements and or services to society. Cheryl Andres was the 2020 recipient. Leading with compassion and integrity 
Cheryl Andres has established herself as a visionary in the healthcare sector. Time and time again, her efforts have revolutionized the way healthcare is imagined, better positioning teams to meet patients' needs. Andres notably led the integration of chronic disease programming in Southern Alberta, applying for an ultimately successful $2.4 million grant that resulted in the formation of the Chronic Disease Network. This system improved care, reduced duplication in services, and enabled smoother transitions for patients throughout the network and served as a model for the rest of the province. From managing the South Zone's COVID-19 response efforts to working with local RNs to raise thousands of dollars for nursing scholarships, Andres cares deeply for the communities she serves and is recognized as the 2020 Distinguished Alumna of the Year. I invite Nick Gabin to the podium again, Vice President of the Alumni Association, to bring greetings on behalf of the University of Lethbridge Alumni Association. Well, that didn't take long. All right, welcome. It is absolutely an honor to be here today with you. And I thank you all for returning to campus to take part in this important academic tradition surrounded by your classmates, your professors, your families, and your friends. I am proud to be here today representing the more than 48,000 University of Lethbridge alumni worldwide as we officially welcome you to the U Lethbridge Alumni Association. The smiles that I see in the crowd today reflect the hard work and dedication that went into making that achievement a reality. The ULAA is proud to be here celebrating with you, and we want to help capture that moment by offering you a free photo of you crossing the stage in cap and gown. With the uh, cards that I handed out to you just now, on the back, there's the information there of how to get that. And while this might seem like the final step in your educational journey, I'm happy to tell you it is not the end. It is only, in fact, the beginning. Whenever the roads take you, remember your time on campus and how it shaped you, the professors who inspired you and the friends who stood by you. Share your story and celebrate your achievements and celebrate with your fellow alumni. Because you all play an important role in the future of the university. We, with graduates and communities around the world, we work together to ensure our almost matter shines even brighter. And there are many ways to get involved, both on our campuses and from afar. You can join a chapter, be a volunteer, be a mentor. Stay connected and share your story. Wherever life has taken you since graduation, know you are already a valued member of this extraordinary community. And we want to remain an important part of your story and look forward to celebrating life's milestones along your side. Help us strengthen our community today and for decades to come. Again, thank you for being here today to celebrate your achievements. Congratulations. Chancellor Charles Weaselhead. I ask that our graduates please rise as they are able.
While we have conferred your degree in 2020, we are honored to have you here taking part in this important academic tradition. I now ask those in attendance to move the tassel on your cap to the left-hand side to reflect your status as graduates. Graduates, please remain standing. As we say farewell to you, our 2020 graduates, I wish to acknowledge the faculty, staff, and members of the Senate and Board of Governors who have worked hard to help see you through your years here at the university. I also want to recognize and acknowledge the parents, families, and friends who have supported you throughout your studies and who share in the joy and excitement of your success. Graduates, please join me in acknowledging them. More than 48,000 people have crossed the stage as you have today. Would all the University of Lethbridge alumni present here today please also rise to be recognized. Graduates and alumni, please be seated. I invite everyone here to enjoy conversation over refreshments on the second level, immediately following the uh, ceremony. We ask that you remain standing for the recession until the Chief Marshal, bearing the mace, followed by the platform party and the graduates, have departed. Eminent Chancellor. Convocation is dismissed. Please rise as you are able. <laughs> <laughs> 